Sometimes you want to create hidden areas for your players to find. And let's see how we can make this. You can grab the code in the description below along with the asset pack, my 2D water system and moving platform system and more. My setup is very simple. I've got a empty game object which has an exterior wall sprite which covers the interior wall which has a collider up top and I've got an interior wall here which also has a collider to stop the player from going this direction and I've got a simple gem. The idea is that we can just adjust the alpha channel or hide and unhide the, the top sprite. I'm simply going to add a trigger box collider and then I'm going to add the trigger zone script. This is just reusable trigger code that you can find find in my other tutorial and in the description below. It's going to check for the player tag on trigger enter it's going to disable the sprite render and on trigger exit it's going to enable the sprite render. If you test it out now you will see that it works perfectly well but you might want to make it more smooth. We can do this by using coroutines or by using a tweening library. I'm going to use dotween and we're going to create a new script called fader. We're first going to import dotween then we're going to create a sprite render reference and we're going to create a fade duration variable. We're going to replace the start and update functions with a simple fade method. Make sure that it's public so that we can reference it from outside. It's going to take in a simple fade direction bull. If it's true, then we're fading in to one. If it's false, we're fading out to zero. And finally, we just call do fade on the sprite render with those parameters. Now we just need to attach the fader component. We assign the sprite render reference and now we hook up the fade method. Now you can test it out and you We'll see that everything works fine. You can check out this video to see how I made the collectible system.